Hey art friends, we're gonna do another origami project today. What are we gonna fold? A crab. Cool. Alright art friends, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. All you need for this project is a square piece of paper. And if you have regular printer paper that's eight and a half by 11, you can fold it uh, diagonally like this first, like this. So you draw that, you get a nice point on it, and you fold it diagonally, and then you just cut off this piece right here, and you'll have a square left over. Cool? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna use this yellow, or this white paper underneath our red paper, because what color is our table? Red. It's a little hard to see by itself, so we're gonna have that just there, just in case, so our friends can see it better. Ready to start? Yeah. Okay, first step, we're gonna fold our paper in half. And we're using red paper because a lot of crabs are red, huh? Mm -hmm. But you could use any color. Fold that nice and crisp. Oh, it's making noise. Okay, then we're gonna open that up and we're gonna fold it in half this way. Make sure it's lined up nice and straight. And then I like to fold down the middle first and then press out to the edges after. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna open it back up. Then we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to the middle of our paper. And if we go too fast, Pause the video. Yes, you guys at home can pause the video and finish your fold and then start the video back up. Okay, now we're gonna fold this edge. We're gonna do the same and fold it to the middle, just like we did on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna flip over our paper and we're gonna fold this edge up to the middle up here. Line it up, press down the middle, and fold out to the edges. There we go. And then we're going to do the same with the top edge. Fold it to the middle. Like that. Okay, now we can open that back up. Good job. Okay, now we're going to fold this edge right here down and line it up with that bottom, with the bottom line. So we're going to fold this over diagonally and line it up so that that edge is right up against that bottom fold and crease it all the way through. So we, yeah, so we open it back up and we folded it this way, right? Mm -hmm. And then we unfolded it, we flipped it back over, and then now we're gonna fold this edge down like that. Good job. Cool, now we're gonna open that back up and we're gonna do the same with the other side. We're gonna fold this edge down to that same bottom line. Okay, and then we can open that back up and we should see a little X inside of a box. Okay, now we're gonna start making our crab. So we're gonna take this edge, see this point right here? We're gonna fold it down and we're gonna do the same with this side. Fold that down and it should be up like that. Now we're gonna take this point and fold it down to the middle and then we can crease it and flatten it out the rest of the way. It's pretty easy, mm -hmm. not too hard. Yeah. So now it kind of looks like a house, huh? Mm -hmm. So we can turn that around and we're gonna do the same thing with this top part. Take this point, fold it down like that. Take the other point, fold it over here. Take the middle, fold it down. And 
and then we flatten it out. Good job. Okay, now let's fold the top, uh, the, his top legs, and we're going to fold diagonally this edge up, and we want to make sure that it goes right to the middle. So this point goes to the middle of the crab down there, and then we can fold it so it points up. And we're going to do the same on this side. We'll take this edge and this point, fold it up. You want to try and make those match, but they don't have to. It's a little tricky to get them exact. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to fold his bottom legs up, and we want to make sure that this is a little tricky down here at the bottom, but make sure that this point goes right to the middle, right here. And we're going to fold his leg up. So it's almost like you're folding this to the you're folding this edge to the center, but you don't have to go all the way, just go a little bit. There we go. It's kind of diagonal. Wait, I kind of missed that. That's okay. Oh, you know what you did? I wasn't even watching. So let's fold this one back like that. We'll turn them this direction and we'll fold this leg up. Oh. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I wasn't watching. I need to pay more attention to what you're doing. There you go. And then match this side. There you go. Okay. Now this, this edge, we're folding up to try and kind of match up to there. So we'll fold that edge up like that. Okay? Good. Okay, and we're going to do the same on this side. We'll fold this up. And we'll try and match it to the other side. Kind of looks like we're making a heart, huh? Mm -hmm. And then this side, we're going to match. We're going to do the same thing that we did over here. So this corner folds up like that. Good job. There you go, now that's a little closer. Good, now make sure those creases are nice and crisp. Good, okay, now we're gonna fold this corner, so his back leg, we're gonna fold it down and match the little straight edge that's underneath it. There's a little edge you can see when you pull it back. So, yep, you were doing it, you did it. And then we'll do the same on this side. Fold it down to match that straight edge that's underneath that flap. Okay, we're almost done. We're gonna fold this corner or this point in the middle. We we'll pick it up and we can fold it up past his front legs. You're going to fold that point up just past his, past his front legs. There you go. Make it nice and crisp. Perfect. He looks good, chuckers. And we can flip him over. And look at that. He's a crab. <laughs> and he'll stand up, too. You can make his legs kind of point down a little bit. Open him up. And you can stand. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Let's draw some eyes on them. Okay. Okay, we'll get our markers and we're gonna do a little circle off to the side here. Right here. We'll do a circle. And we'll do another circle on this side. Am I going too fast? Not really. You could pause it if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Good, and do another circle. I like where you put your eyes, you put them right on his butt. <laughs> so he kind of goes that way and his, point, his head's pointing that way. So these little, these little arms that are pointing up higher 
are his, the front and these are his back legs. But that's okay. We're practicing, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can, we could say that's his front. That's okay. There's no mistakes, right? We're just practicing. And then we could put a little circle inside on both sides, both eyes. Fill in everything except for that little circle. And then we could get our white uh, Prismacolor pencil and we could color in that highlight. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Mm -hmm. Color that in. And then you could also put a little, a smaller one right next to it. Here, you can use this one. Good job, Chuckers. I love your crap, especially where we put the eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. Give me five. Did you have fun? Yeah. There's no mistakes, right? Yeah. Most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, and we really mean it. We hope you guys had a lot of fun folding your crabs with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, my crab's going to attack you. No, my crab's <laughs>